Hello and welcome to another edition of the Proto Balls Podcast. I'm Proto Man. Uh, this is Barry, but we're missing somebody. Oh, oh our hostage escaped. No. Tanks, well, that's tanks. That's, tanks not feeling well today. Yeah, that is quite unfortunate. He was definitely planning on being here, but uh, just uh, he but just yeah, wasn't it's, feeling well. It's almost Halloween. You know what that means. Uh, it, it means that as this is being released, it is Halloween. Yeah. Uh, but don't worry, guys. Uh, if you really, really want to hear Tank talk about a movie, uh, he did just recently release a, a podcast about Sleepaway Camp, which I was in. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, buddy. Ah, uh, Sleepaway Camp's the best. It's so fucking 80s. <laughs> Dude, come on. Um, just... Dude, it's... Listen to the podcast to hear my opinions on that movie. Dude, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. <laughs> I think it's great. But we're not here to talk about Sleepaway Camp. That's a whole other podcast, which I told you to go check out. In fact, I'm going to link that at the end of the video. We're, we're, yeah, we're here to talk about a marginally inferior movie. Give or take. Give or take. It's a good... <laughs> So, 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 you know how last year it was Halloween 3 and Michael Myers wasn't there? Yeah. Well, yeah. they decided to bring him back and make it very blatant that they were bringing him back by basically calling the movie Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. It's like, yeah, yeah. And this is also the, uh, this is also the first, uh, Halloween movie without the involvement of John Carpenter. Yeah, because he had uh, <laughs> sold off the rights of the film to... Uh, Mustafa Khan. Yeah. Oh, boy. Just calling this the return of Michael Myers is as blatant as calling it Alien vs. Predator Requiem. AVPR. To highlight the fact that it's an R-rated movie compared yeah. to the PG-13 <laughs> AVP. Okay. <laughs> It's like, yeah, we get it, we get it. <laughs> so, I'm not, I'm actually not as down on this movie as other people might be. Because, you know, oh, it's the fourth movie in, a, uh, in the fourth movie in the series. And it, it gets really fucking bad from here on out. We're talking, we're talking, it goes, the series from this point goes from eh to... God, this is dreadful. This is like the worst kind of horror. Yeah. I mean, let's let's not mince words. This this movie basically came out in response to f movies like Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. And it shows. <laughs> it, it it really does kind of show. But I'm not I don't think this is a bad movie. It certainly was an easy watch. It was a very easy watch. A quick question before we move forward. Do we even need to have a spoiler tag section for this movie, or can we just... Hey guys, Michael Myers is back. There you go. Oh. There's, there's your spoiler tag. Dude. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, no spoiler tag this time, no because this is a very straightforward movie. It's a very straightforward movie. It goes in exactly the direction you expect it to. <laughs> it has interesting ideas. But that's about it. That's about it. It doesn't really execute it. I will say, I mean, just because it's me, I like the kills. Some of them are pretty fucking funny. <laughs> so, some of them are pretty funny. But for the most part, it's just like, this is a slasher movie with Michael Myers. It's not even like... Yeah, spoiler alert. Uh, uh, this is a bog standard slasher movie. This is... <laughs> yeah. There, yeah, yeah, there is none of the atmosphere that the first two films had. As I said, it's actually a really easy watch, and honestly, it, you know, it has some of the funniest scenes in the entire series. I will admit, it is an easy watch. I watched through it earlier today, and I don't remember much of it. <laughs> I was able to do a bunch of other stuff and not miss very much. <laughs> that yeah. So it came out in 1988. So right around, you know, 88, this would have been... God. So the, the Friday series was winding down. The Nightmare series was already on a fucking tailspin because 4 had just come out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, 
Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, I think, came out a, a while ago. Uh, Evil Dead 2 had come out by that point. So, like, slasher, slasher horror had just I already peaked. It had peaked, and it's already on its way down. And so they decided to add to the pile. Yeah, they, add, they threw to the pile like a Night of the Living Dead. Just <laughs> add one to the pile. Ugh. So it has been ten years since the events of the first two Halloween movies. Yeah. And Michael Myers is being transferred out of the uh, mental asylum that he's interred in to some other place. And John Loomis is not there because he... Apparently didn't read the memo, or if the if a later portion of the film is to be uh, perceived correctly, he wasn't given a memo until it was too late. Mm. Oh yeah. The doctor said the doctor who is who's in the opening scene said that he did that he must not have gotten the memo because he wasn't there. But one could Im infer that maybe he just wasn't given the memo until after Michael was already gone. Yeah. Because even, even the doctor who was taking care of Michael, sort of, just basically said that, yes, Loomis was there as Michael's head head doctor, but yeah. that was really more a ceremonial position, if anything. It, yeah, more of a... It's... That's the word I'm thinking of. Not really ceremonial position. It's more a, you're here just in case he fucking wakes up. Yeah, no, the movie specifically says... Oh, it's <laughs> ceremonial? That's weird. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, no, he's he's here because Michael Myers is here. That's he's the here. only reason. He's here because of tenure. <laughs> <laughs> kind of? <laughs> yeah. Of course, so, as they're transporting Michael, he wakes up... Having just now learned that he has a niece. <laughs> Quite literally, two of the dumbest fucking people that you could think of. Oh, you know, this guy was known for trying to kill his sister and may or may not be conscious. conscious. We don't. So does he have any other family? Ah, uh, just a niece. He's too young to take care of him, so. <laughs> and <laughs> he fucking Kench <laughs> he Kenshiro's that shit. Yeah. He, fucking, he rises from the grave. He digs his fucking hand in this guy. He digs his fucking thumb in this guy's brain. Like fucking Kenshiro. Through the forehead. <laughs> Through the forehead. Through the hardest part of the body. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Of course, that's after softening it up a bit by smashing the guy's head against oh, yeah, the side of, of the, course. side of the ambulance. Yeah, I think, he, yeah, he split his head open, that's why, and then he dug it in there. But Jesus! Yeah, so car wreck. <laughs> Loomis finds out, it's like, fucking hate. F I told you, didn't I? And the other doctor's like, well, it could have been an accident. It's like, you're in a horror movie. By the way, the it's other... never an accident. By the way, the other doctor, he was, uh, he was that, uh, he was that Russian diplomat in Rocky IV. Okay. Yep, that's just, just something I noticed. I'm like, oh, hey, I remember you from Rocky IV. We'll, we'll eventually get the Rocky series, maybe. 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 I'm sure. I'm, I'm not, I'm not opposed to the idea. Yeah. It's just... I think, you, I think you'd like. The, I might, I might. I think you like the Rocky series because it's not about boxing, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's a, it's a story about a boxer. That's fair. But I it's mean, not about the boxing. So, Ashita no Joe, kind of. <laughs> yes, actually, very much. It's a, it's a, it's actually a, it's a story about love and family. Which yeah. is not what Ashita no Joe which is. Not a, which is not but what tomorrow's Joe But seriously, go joke. check that. That, one, that one's way more about boxing, but it's more about the consequences that people carry in their life. Yeah, I'm... Go check that anime out. It's great. <laughs> most influential anime out there. One of yes, yeah. or at least the most influential sports one. Oh, definitely. definitely. Nevertheless, <laughs> Doctor Loomis, once again played by Donald Pleasance, and he's got a big fucking scar on the the right side of his face to indicate that he was in a fire. <laughs> Which this movie is canon from the Halloween Two because the well, that depends on which timeline we're talking about but that's a topic for a for a we, later year we don't talk about that oh, oh we're my. going to have to eventually we're gonna have to but do, not right now we're gonna have to do both versions <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> i am i'm upset now now that you brought that up <laughs> nevertheless 
Yeah, so he... He fucking... <laughs> yeah, so Loomis... Uh, it's like, I fucking told you so. Yeah, Loomis, Loomis drives to the... Uh, drives to the... To accident the, site. To the accident, and he's just like, well... I gotta go to Haddonfield. It's a four-hour drive. I'll see y'all. Well, there. he could have been killed in the thing. He could have been. He could have been thrown clear. He might be in the forest. Too. And he's like, yeah. And he's like, yeah. Okay. Well, if you find him in four hours, give me a call. I'll be in Haddonfield. And along the way to Haddonfield, he finds evidence that yeah, no, my, he was right. He was fucking right. Yeah. Also, he sees a hallucination of Michael in like a gas station or something. No, he straight up sees Michael because Michael was there. Remember, because he kills he kills the. Uh... Yeah, Michael was there. Yeah, but I don't know if he was still there when Loomis shows up, because Loomis shoots at no, something. No, because he, and... he crashed through the he crashed through the whole thing and caused the the gas station to explode. Oh, yeah, that's how little I remember yeah, about this movie. <laughs> Loom, Loomis, yeah, Loomis. Yeah, Loomis. Uh, Loomis shows up at the gas station, and Michael. And I feel we have to address a bit of an elephant in the room regarding some of the appearances of Michael in this movie. Uh, uh, pink hair. Yeah, they look awful. <laughs> not not all of the scenes with Michael uh, have this blatantly pink hair, but uh, a lot of but some of them do, and they're kind of admittedly easy to miss unless you're looking for them. But uh, the reason is, is because they did get uh, the original William Shatner mold masks. Yeah. Which are just stark white now, without without any of the variation that the previous uh, two movies that had Michael Myers in had. And... Wait, how did he get a mask? Okay, so he has a hallucination of Michael... In one of the places. And then Michael uh, explodes a gas station. I don't... I don't... Ugh. So, long, long story short, Loomis finds Michael. Michael escapes, blows up the gas station, and blows up Loomis's car, too. So now Loomis is stranded. But getting back to the point, uh, they did get the original molds for the mask. They were stark white, but one of the other blatant uh, problems with it was that they had pink hair. <laughs> for whatever reason. And, like, nobody noticed until somebody, somebody in, I, somebody noticed, hey, isn't the mask's hair supposed to be a darker color? Oh, shit, now we gotta reshoot a lot of this movie. Yep. <laughs> and you still can find instances of pink-haired Michael. Because, whatever. It's, it's nominal at best. Like, it's a blank and you miss it, and you, it's just like whatever. Like I said, if it, you're looking it, for it, you'll it, spot it. It does not affect the movie in any way. For better or for worse. <laughs> for better or for worse. Make that of what you will. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so Loomis is stranded now, and uh, over in Haddonfield, as it happens to be, Laurie Strode's daughter... Uh, Jamie J J can't Lloyd. Remember. Jamie J Lloyd. Jamie Lloyd. I feel like they named her Jamie just because of Jamie Lee Curtis. Maybe. I don't it's fun know. fact. Fun fact about Jamie Lee Curtis. She fucking loves One Piece. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. So she. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah. Too, too bloated for my blood. <laughs> yeah. No, she fucking. No, she loves One Piece. She shows up to the Street Fighter, uh, you know, conventions in cosplay. Nice. <laughs> and her daughter is also trans, and she's awesome. So, yeah, Lord, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is a fucking really cool person. Shame she's not in this movie. Shame she's not in this movie. Also, well, aside from like one picture. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I think the. Did we mention in the original Halloween that Jamie Lee Curtis's uh, mother was in Psycho? I think that got mentioned. I, that might I, have I feel mentioned. that got mentioned. Okay. Just in case, please mention it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's mom was. Uh, I can't remember her name now. But uh, she was. Uh, she was the main character in Psycho. They get axed off right at the beginning of the movie. Dude, spoilers, we haven't even touched those movies yet. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh yeah, the most famous scene from Psycho and I, it's spoiler, okay? Yeah, totally. 
It's literally the one thing. It's one of two things. I'm sure if we were a more popular podcast, we would be getting complained out the ass for mentioning it. <laughs> Dude, spoilers. I totally, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Janet Lee. Janet Lee. Yep. So anyway. Yeah, J- Jamie Lee Curtis. She's fucking just a, a wonderful person. Her and uh, Sigourney Weaver. They're, they're both really fucking cool people. So you're neat. Anyway, back to not talking about Jamie Lee yeah, Curtis. Back to not talking about Jamie Lee Curtis. So yeah, uh, Jamie Lee, Laurie Strode's daughter, Jamie Lloyd, she's with a foster family. Yep. And uh, uh, she suffers from nightmares. Yeah. About well, Michael. <laughs> which it's is... More, it's more like hallucinations, but like... It gets explained in the next movie. Oh, God. It all goes downhill from... It, like, like Halloween 1, love it. Halloween 2, I dig it. Halloween 3, I also dig it, but it's really fucking weird. And then Halloween 4, I don't hate it as much as other people. But then we get... The Halloween 5, and it drops off a cliff, and I'm like, this is miserable, and I fucking hate it. (laughs) Apparently, the whole uh, uh, Lori being Michael's sister was just added to the movie to extend the time. Yes. So that, like, TV stations could air the movie. Yeah. In a proper runtime, yeah, <laughs> complete with commercials. So, uh, uh, thanks, TV execs. <laughs> oh, fucking now. <laughs> thanks for adding in the perhaps the worst thing to happen to the Halloween series: supernatural elements. <laughs> that, yeah, that John Carpenter fucking <laughs> magically fixed later on. <laughs> which is which I'm so thankful for. I can't wait till we get to Halloween remake. Not the remake, the, the sequel to Halloween, Halloween 2018. <laughs> Is that confusing enough? <laughs> there are, there are... Shit, we haven't even started talking about the timeline. Stop confusing people just yet. <laughs> there are three movies that are Halloween. There's the original Halloween, there's the... Rob Zombie Halloween. There's the Rob Zombie Halloween, which I don't like. And there's a reason I don't like it. I have not seen it, so I do not form an opinion. And then there's the sequel to the original Halloween, Halloween 2018. So it's like The Thing. It's like The Thing. The thing. It's th- like The Thing, the original. Yeah, The, well, thi- the, the remake. The, the thing, thing, the remake. <laughs> the Thing from uh, The Thing from Out of This World. Another World. Uh, the Thing from Another World, 1952. Then The Thing, the, the John Carpenter remake. John Carpenter's The Thing. 1982, and then, then the thing, the thing for PlayStation 2, which is a sequel to <laughs> the yes, thing, <laughs> and then you have the thing, which is a prequel to the thing, <laughs> which is of course a prequel to the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're not covering anything beyond that one, <laughs> because that would be confusing. Do you know how oh, you know how much the PS2 game is? It's like fucking eighty-two bucks or some shit like that. It's like anywhere between eighty to a two hundred bucks. It's super expensive, and it eats your memory card. <laughs> you have to get a separate memory card just to play that game, because it ta- it takes a gajillion memory blocks. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, what were we talking about? Uh, oh, like right, right, Halloween Four. <laughs> Oh, right, uh, Lori's daughter. <laughs> yeah. Who's with a step, fam- step a foster family. So I, I think I think the older sister... Rachel. I'm using air quotes here. I think that's the same girl that Lori was looking after in the first movie. Yes. Because there's a specifically a mention in the movie of how Lori used to babysit her. Yes. So, yeah. We yeah. have one returning character, probably not the same actress, but... No. So we got two returning characters in this movie, not counting Michael himself, who I completely forgot was in the other movies. <laughs> no, she... Okay, so Rachel never showed up in the first movie. Oh, fuck. Never mind, then. It's Only... just... It's just... Oh, this is another girl that Lori used to apparently babysit. Okay. Like, that, that would have been a... F- uh, I guess 
considering how little she actually remembers of that night, yeah, I guess it makes sense. But yeah, no, that th- that night has become a bit of a legend in this yeah, town. What was it? Sixteen people killed, roughly. <laughs> So, yeah, the people are like... Is that counting or not counting Ben Cooper? Uh, ben Tramer? Ben Tramer, whatever. I'm pretty sure that is counting Ben Tramer. Okay. <laughs> but need, as, a, as a reminder, was not killed by Michael Myers. He was killed by the police for looking like Michael Myers. <laughs> Something that shockingly happens here in this movie, again... <sighs> It's like they're at least this time it kind of makes sense. It does make sense in this. Case. Like in, in Ben Tramer's case, that was just super unfortunate. <laughs> in this case, that was practically asked for. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Um. Anyway, Rachel's parents tell Rachel that she has to babysit uh, Jamie tonight, which is Halloween, because her parents have some important thing that just, I think has something to do with the dad's promotion or something. Probably. It's like, it's never really explained other than that it's a super important night for them, but so important that it supersedes Rachel's important stuff, which, which is, she already had planned. Which is a date with Brady. I don't recall the guy's last name. Doesn't matter. Let's just keep calling him <laughs> Brady. Doesn't, he doesn't have a last name. <laughs> But ultimately, Rachel does agree to look after Jamie, who she then takes to school, who is then uh, bullied by some of her classmates for being the niece of the boogeyman. And also not having a mom. Like, fuck, these fucking kids are mean. <laughs> like, they are super mean. <laughs> what the... Not quite as mean as the bitches in Sleepaway Camp, no. but... <laughs> <laughs> ah, Sleepaway Camp. <laughs> I love that movie. I don't give a fuck if you hate it. I don't hate it. I think it's... Okay, spoiler alert for that uh, podcast. It's... I think it's incredibly mediocre <laughs> and boring. I think the pacing is not that good. But dude... And the only thing that anybody remembers about that movie is the plot twist ending, and that's it. That robot chicken sketch about about somebody actually remembering that movie is super accurate, in my opinion. But dude, it has a, it has a fucking pedophile boiling in oil. I know, and I'll, every scene he's in is incredibly creepy. Go watch that podcast. We cover that. Also, the dialogue. Also, he wasn't covered in oil. That was just boiling water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. I thought it was oil. <laughs> no, they were cooking he... corn. Like, why would you boil corn in in oil? Why not? Why would you boil a huge pot of of oil for corn? <laughs> Your mom. That's that's a recipe for the disaster. <laughs> cooking oil in that large of a quantity. <laughs> Because your mom, that's fine. Your mom too. Fuck off. <laughs> we are siblings. Oh, Plot no. twist. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So yeah, the, the, the Rachel goes and takes her out to get a Halloween costume. Because yeah. now, now Jamie wants to go ho- go trick or treating, despite the fact that you know her family doesn't exactly have the best uh... history with Halloween. <laughs> I mean, her uncle murdered his sister, no. and then tried to murder his other sister. No. Oh, yeah. That's, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Never mind. You forgot the. You forgot the inciting incident. I thought you meant Lori. I was like, no, no. no. And yeah. then, like, fifteen other people aside. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so. So, Jamie's family love, doesn't exactly... I love, I love how his murders are spread out over 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> he murders one person 10 years ago. Or 20 years ago. Then 10 years ago, he's like, I'm going to do it again. Murdered 16 people. And 15. 15, sorry. Yeah. And then 10 years later, he's like, okay, I'm going to kill some more. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Like, he unintentionally has the second highest kill count of, like, the four main slashers. <laughs> Freddy, Jason, and Leatherface. And I think Leatherface has the least amount of kills out of all of them. That we see. That we see. I mean, there, there are potentially a lot more, considering how <laughs> yeah. isolated that place is. Ah, <laughs> fucking Michael. And apparently their diet consists entirely of humans, but that's a spoiler for yeah, Texas like, Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, like, Freddy, yeah, Freddy's killed maybe 20 people. 
Well, on screen. On okay, on screen. Because if we're counting total kills, a uh, fuck sick just decides to drop the f, drop a bomb, drop a bomb that only kills kids. Yeah. By that by that point. <laughs> yep. It's like fucking. <laughs> Drops a nuke on nothing but kids. Yeah. <laughs> Before that movie even starts. <laughs> a child bomb. Yes. <laughs> and uh, Jason has like uh, Jason has like a hundred kills, I think. Oh yeah, definitely. He's 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 got a fucking bajillion kills. <laughs> and they're all creative. And they're all creative. They're so. all they're all a little different from one another. And Leatherface, I think, has like fifteen, maybe. And then Mike comes in and just kind of decides, I want to be, I want to be Jason. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be like my hero Jason. I want to be like my hero Jason. <laughs> Dude, you're older than him. I don't care. <laughs> I don't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm the most human out of everybody. I people all, you know. <laughs> I think mean, Leatherface has something to say about shit. that. Leatherface ain't human. Leatherface I mean, don't have no supernatural aspects to him. I mean, have you seen that face? That is not his face. <laughs> exactly. Not human. Anyways. <laughs> I guess not morally human. <laughs> Biologically, yes. <laughs> so, uh, so, so Jamie gets attacked, actually, in the store. Like, almost attacked. Except that it's like a day terror. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think Michael is there. Michael uh, Michael shows up because he steals the mask, and then he shows up right behind. Which is him. weird, like how nobody noticed the dude just band with a bandage up head, unless you remove those bandages. At which, at, in which case, then who who didn't notice the horribly scarred man, who never actually shows up without something covering his face in this movie? That's funny because he doesn't end up being. Never mind. I'm, I'm assuming that he did because he was literally on fire. The next movie. In the la in the last movie he was in. Yeah, I know. And Loomis, who was not on fire, has some facial scarring. Which Loomis was involved in the explosion, though. Yes, yes, he was. I'm not saying that he wasn't. I'm just saying he wasn't. He wasn't on fire. Right. <laughs> like Loomis looks pretty good for having been in a fire. Nevertheless. 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 Nevertheless, he's there. Okay. There's a. There's a funny scene where Loomis is walking down the road, and these fucking dick teenagers decide to fuck with him. Oh, I, I feel I should also mention that uh, uh, while uh, Jamie and Rachel are at the, uh, I guess, general store, uh, we get introduced to the sheriff's daughter, who is uh, not taking shit from nobody. <laughs> Kind of. And uh, we also actually meet Brady, who just now learns that uh, Rachel won't be going on a date with him, which has repercussions later. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's kind of uh, not a good person. Just because just cause he's like, oh, I don't get to have a fucking date tonight. Well, I guess I'll just fucking sleep around with somebody else. That's literally what it comes down to. Yep. Like, like, yep, that is a repercussion. Like, like, really? Really, dude? What the fuck? You can't keep it in your pants and fucking wait? Like, just just accept that something came up. It's like, oh, man. I guess, I guess he was really hoping she'd be putting out tonight. <laughs> when you say if it he, like... If he, if he goes that far to get laid. When you put it like that, yeah. <laughs> He's even worse than we have when, than we thought. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> you can't just be happy to spend Halloween with somebody. Whatever, fucking. Yeah, and you couldn't even come over and hang out. That's the well, other. They were going out trick or treating. They were. He did offer to come by later, by which <laughs> point Rachel was like, "Well, my parents will be there." So. <laughs> well, okay, okay. So then, <laughs> what were you planning on doing exactly? Having a nice chat with their parents? Okay, okay Brady. Okay, Brady. In which case, okay. Okay, Brady. You know what? <laughs> Rachel and Brady could have co-opted this into a date if they brought Jamie along trick-or-treating. And they just hung out together, went out trick-or-treating with, with, together. No! Brady decided to choose a path of violence. No! <laughs> Brady wants to fuck! Because he's a fuck boy! <laughs> a big, nasty fuck boy! Yeah. 
So anyway, cut to uh, uh, Halloween night that night, which, okay, Rachel takes Jamie out trick-or-treating. Jamie's wearing a, a clown costume. I because think, that's not foreshadowing. I think it's also because Kelly... I don't know, what, what's her name? Kelly uh, put herself out there, too, to him. So it's just like... Which is weird, because she rejected one, one guy. Yeah. Before he could even ask, and then it jumps on the a, other dude. Yeah, it's, uh, it's revealed later that like Rachel and Kelly don't like each other. Not just oh, so it's hate fucking. Is so, it so it's hate fucking. Yeah, yeah. Rachel finds out that Brady and Ray and Kelly have been boinking. Yeah, <laughs> and they, and and it's 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 implied in dialogue later between the two that uh, Kelly has done this before to Rachel. <laughs> So, she's kind of a fucking... Which makes the whole scene where she rejects one guy I don't, who doesn't who ha, doesn't even get a chance to ask all the more baffling. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's because she likes to fuck with Rachel. Okay, yeah, sure, that so, makes sense. So, so she's, she's, she's definitely a bad person who deserves what she gets. I probably could have been explained a bit better, but whatever. Yeah. Nevertheless... Fuck, this movie's a lot deeper than we thought. Shit! <laughs> Did it just become Citizen Kane? Put Fuck! This, put this on the Criterion Collection. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, yeah, so Rachel Rachel and Jamie are trick-or-treating out, and Brady... And then while Rachel and Brady are getting into an argument, Jamie goes off with the other kids who were bullying her earlier to do more trick-or-treating. Yeah. And that leaves Rachel to have to play catch up with Jamie. <laughs> Who goes missing? Hmm. Not, not for long, though. Yeah, because then I think I think around, by this point Loomis has made it. To yeah, the Lo Lo Loomis has made it to Haddonfield because he had to hitch a ride with a with a. Drunk, okay, now we can talk about dr drunk old <laughs> pastor. Yeah, <laughs> like a drunk old Catholic dude. <laughs> Who can just tell, looking at Loomis in the cloud left behind oh, by some punks who just left Loomis I'll, in their dust when he was looking for a ride? I can tell look. you're hunting evil. I've been hunting it myself for 30 years. Doesn't have a face. Doesn't have a shape. Go by many names. Apocalypse Armageddon. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I might be paraphrasing here. <laughs> 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 it would have been so funny if he was just like I was already getting an R rating Ap Apocalypse uh, Apocalypse I'm again Shit Fuck Fuck shit <laughs> Many names Shit fuck Yeah you know <laughs> But you can kind of tell that he's supposed to be like a crazy character He's the crazy Ralph of this movie <laughs> And yet Loomis is like Yeah, yeah no I get it Yeah <laughs> I identify with you 100%, sir. Now give me that, now give me that open bottle of whiskey. <laughs> that you are sipping while driving. That you are drinking while driving. <laughs> and anyway, that's how Loomis gets to Haddonfield. He makes it to the police station and informs the sheriff, Hey, uh, Michael Myers is probably on his way here. Uh, I just saw a bunch of bodies on the way here from the hospital. So he's probably on his way. Uh, deputy's like, yeah, no, our long distance call is, phones are out, so we can't call to confirm this guy's story. Sheriff is like, okay, Loomis, let's go. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, so they end up going searching, and at some point between, uh, them searching and, and the sheriff and Loomis returning to the police station, Michael Myers decided to pay it a visit. And all we get to see is the aftermath. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> yeah. That whole fucking pol that whole police station is fucking completely destroyed. Like it looks like the police station from the end of of First Blood, just yes. with more bodies. <laughs> so the big thing is that the sheriff and the police had called for a uh, 
They had called for a, uh, what was it called? A curfew. Uh, a curfew, like a forced curfew, like everybody needs to be home, not just kids, but like adults too. So like some bar patrons see it on the news? <laughs> and they're like, ah, oh, what the hell, I better call and find out what the hell is going on. And they, they... Nobody's, nobody answers at the police station and it's like, <laughs> oh fuck, we better head out there and see yeah. what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> their, their immediate thought is, these fucking redneck fucking <laughs> Illinois yokels, they're like, Ah, what the hell? There ain't no reason that nobody should not answer a goddamn fucking... It's like, it's like that GTA San Andreas me. <laughs> oh, shit, not again. <laughs> ah, shit, here we go again. Because <laughs> they, they remember what happened ten years ago. So, yeah, they go, there's no reason that the police shouldn't be able to answer their phone at the police station. So they're like, all right, let's go. Let's go find out what the hell's going on. And they, and they get there just as the sheriff is leaving... <laughs> Getting ready to fucking, I don't know. And the sheriff tries to calm everybody down. It's like, don't worry, nothing's, uh, it's a little hiccup. And then Loomis is like, Michael Myers came back. <laughs> and the crowd's like, wait, I don't want to hunt this motherfucker. <laughs> and so, at, at one point, I think, I think it's actually before they get back to the police station, the sheriff and Loomis encounter uh, three oh, Michael the, Myers. Yeah, because they, they find Jamie and... Because they find Jamie and uh, Rachel, and they're like, "You guys need to come with us. Get, get in the van." Get and in the then car. they encounter three Michael Myerses. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Rachel found Jamie. <laughs> yeah, forgot to mention that. Yep, and they, and she also found fuck her 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 boyfriend Brady. Yeah, we were talking about that yep. earlier. Yeah, because that's why Jamie went missing. Because. This movie's That's, pacing is terrible. This movie's pacing is all over the place. <laughs> but I also kind of like, I get it. Anyway, back to three Jasons. <laughs> I mean, three Two Michaels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what would have been great? Oh my god. Would have been great. You know, you know, honestly, before you get to that thought, uh, three Jasons would have made this a lot of sense. <laughs> I, was gonna I say, mean, he can teleport. <laughs> I was going to say, it would have been great if instead of three Michaels, it would have been... One Jason, one Michael, and one fucking Freddy or Leatherface or whatever, just sort of to poke fun and be like, yeah, yeah, these No, movies. it's ju it's just like three teens who are dressed yeah. up as Michael Myers because but been, apparently that's how they get their rocks off. Would would it would have been would have been funny because it would have been sort of a sort of a nudge nudge and be like, yeah, these movies are canon in our universe, <laughs> and because of, and because of fair use, yeah, we can use it. Ha ha, get fun. Ha -ha! <laughs> yeah. Would have been would have been kind of interesting, but yeah. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, no. But uh, then the teens who are now at gunpoint, it's like, well, it's just a prank, bro. Just, a, just a prank, bro. Which comes to bite them in the ass later when they end up encountering the posse. <laughs> <laughs> Which, thanks, Loomis. You, like, I get it, but I also get it. Like, there's two sides to that argument. Because because Loomis' whole argument is, you don't have a police force anymore. What are you going to do? And meanwhile, Sheriff Meeker's whole argument is, even if I don't have a police force, you just fucking stir up a fucking mob, and they will kill literally anybody, which they end up doing. <laughs> so one of the teens from earlier gets shot because he was dressed up like Michael Myers because he was a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, how stupid do you gotta fucking be? This isn't even... This isn't Ben Tramer where it was a complete fucking accident and he was quite literally wearing the wrong stuff. Wrong wrong place, wrong time. This is the case of you went out actively looking to fucking scare people. And now you're dead. And now you're dead. It's like... Oh, what am I going to dress up for as Halloween? I'm gonna... I know! That one guy who murdered 15 people 10 years ago. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dress up as Jeffrey Dahmer, you <laughs> fucking moron. <laughs> fucking hell. Alright, who are you this... Who are you? You don't look like a monster or a ghost or anything. Who are you? I'm a, I'm a Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm who? A, <laughs> a serial killer. Who? Your mom. Fuck you! <laughs> Take some candy, you stupid bitch. Take my upvote. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that happens. A um, little, little Reddit joke. <laughs> anyway, uh, Loomis, the sheriff, Rachel, and Jamie uh, 
don't head back to uh, Rachel's house. Yeah. They head to the sheriff's house and find uh, Kelly and Brad. Too. Yeah, th- it's funny because the sheriff, the sheriff is just like, I know you're fucking my daughter, dude. I'll fucking deal with you later. Priorities. Priorities. <laughs> Oh, at some point they also uh, yeah, he, encountered yeah. like the deputy sheriff or something. Yeah, the deputy who, sheriff who had gone out to uh, uh, check on Loomis's claim and then came back and wasn't able to get in contact with the police station because, well, <laughs> yeah, and uh, he accidentally brought Michael with him because <laughs> Michael was hiding in the back seat. Which, speaking of, how the fuck did he get out of there? Probably climbed up front. But well, won't there be a hole? Never mind. It probably happened while everybody was inside, and mm-hmm. nobody noticed. He probably snuck in to one of the do- one, of, maybe through the back door without anybody I, noticing. Yeah, because Michael gets in the house despite the fact that they nail and lock everything yeah, shut. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, I think the deputy sheriff gets on the radio and calls in the national guard yep. to come deal with Michael. And then Michael just starts killing everybody. <laughs> really? Yeah, like, the sheriff leaves, and Loomis goes out looking for Michael. And, uh, yeah, that's where the, that's where the killing starts. So the, uh, the, the deputy is fucking... Crushed mutilated, to death? <laughs> mutilated to death. Kelly finds him because she lights a candle and there's his body. Not the guy sitting in the chair. No, that's Michael, who then that, kills Kelly somehow. In the dumbest fucking way. Instead of, you know... Shooting her with the gun, cause you know that would. Suck. Oh yeah, he has a shotgun. <laughs> he has a shotgun. Instead of sh- instead of shooting Kelly with the gun, he decides to stab her with the gun. How? It's my through a door. <laughs> how? It's it's Halloween for Michael Myers. Don't question it. <laughs> this is this isn't even like oh it's Halloween one and he's got a really long knife. <laughs> no. No, this is like this is for Michael Myers, where he just decides that everything is a is a knife. <laughs> and uh, Brady is killed by getting his fucking head smashed in, or head crushed. I can't remember what happens to the sheriff. I assume he gets killed off. Sheriff, sheriff is done. Like he's gone. He's okay. He's out traveling. Okay. Uh, at some point, Jamie goes missing, and Rachel goes in search of her, and they somehow make it out of the house. Yeah. Oh, right, Rachel gets tossed out of a window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and lives. <laughs> so unless Michael either crushes or stabs you, you're going to be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Because this isn't the only time that somebody gets thrown through a window and, Rick, yeah. and, and isn't worse for wear. <laughs> also, uh, now Jamie's on ja- the run so, from yeah, no, Michael. So, so, ja- so they get onto the roof and Jamie is lowered down safely. She she's oh so Rachel doesn't even get thrown through a window no. she gets thrown off the roof she she falls off the roof yeah she she slips and falls off of it and, and uh, apparently that's enough for Michael to just not care anymore because he cause leaves her I think he thought she was dead because <laughs> like, she, she was fucking out cold not moving at all so now and, uh, and also because Jamie's right there that's his actual target so whatever. Anyway, Jamie's a fast runner, whereas Michael just walks. <laughs> yeah, Michael doing Michael stuff. And, and then Jamie's captured by Loomis. <laughs> yeah, and Loomis is like, all right, we're going to that school. But I want to go home. Nope. That's the first place he'll go. That's the first place to look. We're going to the Also, school. by this point, uh, Jamie, J- uh, Rachel's parents have come back home. And they're out looking for her now. So, Loomis and Jamie go to the school, Michael follows, Michael grabs Loomis and tosses him through a window, chases chases Jamie through the school. Yeah, Jamie falls down a flight of steps, and then Rachel shows up with a, fu- with a fire extinguisher. Yeah. And uses it in the way you are not really expecting. I guess she did it to blind him rather than bludgeon him, but... Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's like, why would you not use it, to, use it to bludgeon him? Mind you, the alarms are going off in the school, so, like... So the posse is there. And the posse shows up, and they're like, all right, we're getting you out of here. Ra- yeah, G- Rachel and Jamie manage to get out of the, get out of the school. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They get a ride out of town to, to get then, as and, far and, away from Haddonfield as they can. And the National Guard shows up, by the way. Yep, and so 
They pass the National Guard, and the National Guard's like, there's a National Guard stop, you know, out that way. There's a military post, you know, out that way. All right, we'll get... We'll get there. And then the posse gets killed off because Michael <laughs> decided to cling to the bottom of the truck. Oh, my God. It's so fucking amazing. Because they're, they're all like... They're looking out ahead, making sure nothing's coming up, and Michael comes from behind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, they're all, they're all like... So, yeah, that sure would have, should, would have been funny if he had been running on behind. Yes. But no, the the closest approximate, the closest guess I can make is that he clo- somehow got underneath the truck while everybody was distracted yeah. outside the school, and well, then just clung on there for a while it, it, until the National Guard went by. If they had turned this into a black comedy, this would have been amazing. <laughs> this would have been an amazing. Movie. But no, this is a straight horror. This is a straight slasher movie. God. So now, now all the all the posse guys who are protecting Jamie are are taken care of, and Rachel is left to just floor it, and she manages to buck a yeah, the, yeah, buck the, Michael off of the truck, yeah, and the, then floors it to crash it. Yeah, to the, crash him into like a cemetery. The, or the something. fucking the fucking driver gets like the thumb through the neck and like ripped open and everything, and it's like, geez. And why, and why Michael doesn't do the same thing to Rachel is beyond me. Maybe he thought he needed to be a bit more creative, like his hero, like his hero Jason. <laughs> <sighs> this, and we're at the end of the movie, by the way. We're only forty six minutes into this. This movie thing. goes by incredibly fast if you take out all it's, the stuff that's It's only in it's only eighty minutes. Yeah, it's like eighty five minutes at best. About an hour and a half, roughly. Yeah. So it's it's not a long movie, but it goes by a lot quicker if you take out all the stuff that's trying to be atmospheric mm. and failing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the reason it works in the original Halloween is because Michael is an anomaly. He's, he's a mystery. He's not. He, I mean, and not only that, he's not just like some tr- teleporting force of nature. He's there's... he's catching everybody by surprise. This movie, everybody is paying attention and trying to look out for Michael, and he still catches them by surprise. Yeah, exactly. It's like, there's no sense of suspension, because it's like Five Nights at Freddy's. You know the animatronics are going to show up and scare the shit out of you. (laughs) It's just a matter of when. And that's... That's good for tension, but not in a movie where where the... not a movie in a genre where the whole thing is splashy kills. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't. It doesn't work. <laughs> so yeah. So Michael is knocked like a hundred feet or whatever into like near a mine shaft or something. And then I guess somebody told somebody told the National Guard that Michael uh, wasn't in town anymore because the pit, because then they show up and just and. <laughs> Think, While I, Jamie is going over to check on the body, because it's, why it's, would you let the little girl by the, go to the murderer who's been trying to kill them? Luma, Loomis showed up with them. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so Loomis was probably like, he probably followed them. We need to go rescue them. <laughs> and the National Guard came over. And then, yeah, Mike, Michael Myers gets up, does the whole... The whole Michael Myers sit up and everything. Loomis shouts to, or no, the sheriff shouts to Jamie to duck. Yep. She gets, she hugs the ground, and then everybody just unloads all their guns on Michael's, and he and falls into a mine shaft and is buried, and is 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 dead now. <laughs> yep, and everything's you know happy. Everyone's safe. They're back at they're back at the house. Back at the house. And Rachel goes to take a bath. Jamie picks up a scissors and stabs her, apparently. And then, and then Loomis tries to shoot Jamie because he knows the evils come back. But then the sheriff stops him and then grabs a gun and points it at Jamie himself. I get, I get what was, I get what was supposed to. I get the ID here, and they completely abandon it in the next movie. Spoiler alert. So basically, Tommy Jarvis in five. Yeah. Wait, this is our fifth and Friday the Thirteenth movie. I thought we did it, did that already. Or did I know we did f- the first four, the first and only four movies. Oh yes, weird. Ah well, I is wonder when the next. Also, time. breaking character. This this is also this is also a bullsh- probably a bullshit explanation for where they got the idea and Jason goes to hell because it's basically the same bullshit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was that was uh, Halloween 4. I give it a 4 out of 100. No, a 4 <laughs> out of 10. <laughs> really? There, I... there are worse movies, but honestly, this is subpar for me. This is this is a 5 out of 10. It's so mediocre, you can't you can't really hate it. I do though. Like it is yeah. it is, it is a is a blemish that went on to stain the franchise. Well, I'm sorry that you have such high standards. Ooh. Well, think about it like this. This is like the speck of dark that, you know, starts to make your shirt dirty. And then the sequel and then the sequel to this is after you tried to wash wash it and the stain and the sa- stain stuck. <laughs> or you accidentally put bleach to it and it all pinks. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually probably appropriate. <laughs> but yeah, no, this this is the downward spiral for the Halloween movies and why nobody can really take the series as seriously as they do the Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street films. Despite the, the, the recent movies actually being really good, from what I heard. I have not seen any of them. Because basically... Two through two through six, thrown out. So it's one, and then the new movies. Isn't that what H two O was? Oh god, we're talking about timelines again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. H oh yeah no yeah H two O and Resurrection also thrown out. So it's one, and then the re- the new movies. That's the new canon. So get rid of two. Get rid of Jamie. Being who who, th- who thought that a movie about an enigmatic killer coming home would turn into an absolute clusterfuck of stuff you would have not expected from that premise. Yeah. <laughs> you get alt, you get split timelines, you get evil cults, you get <laughs> supernatural shit. You get a different timeline altogether, like a, like a completely alternate universe. The uh, season of the witch. Season of the witch, yep. Yeah. Which is com- perfectly fine. Which is, I, 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 I readily, which, ex- which, I readily welcome. Which, which in its own universe, which, 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 which. which in its own universe, Halloween, the first two movies, are movies in that universe. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. Fun, fun. Yeah, that was, that was, that was Halloween 4. Like I'm, I said, 4 out of 10. Like I said, I'm not as, I'm not as... I don't hate on it as much as other people, but it does lead to five. And I... also another problem is I keep getting this and the fifth movie confused with each other because they're basically the same movie. Yeah, kinda. And we'll get into that next year. At least we when we talk about. Halloween 5, The Revenge of the Return of the Cooler of Michael Myers. I'll freeze up. Return of Frieza. <laughs> the Return of the Revenge of Michael Myers of Cooler of Frieza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bio, bro. Bio, the Revenge of Michael Shut my... the fuck up. <laughs> Alright, so what was your favorite scene, if any? If any. The deaths? The kills? You know, I'm struggling to think of any scene that was actually good. Well, you, who is your favorite character? Loomis? Only by default. I guess, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Michael isn't much of a character, and this movie does not give, do him any credit. If Michael doesn't even really have any character in this movie. He had character in the first movie, despite, you know, being an enigma. He, yeah. He was... He was very uh he was very demented very uh sadistic he had a, slow and methodical and very, this, this yeah. michael is just not <laughs> he had a he had a twisted sense of humor because when he stabs what's his face with the knife he, he decides to dress up as him he just admires his work yeah like the closest he comes in this is just sitting in the guy's chair with his back turned mm-hmm doesn't even put on the goddamn fucking sheriff's out <laughs> deputy outfit. That would have been funny. <laughs> like I said, if they had structured this like a like a black comedy, it would have been funny. Right, like what uh, 
Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2 did. Yeah, I love Texas. I've never even seen that movie, and I know that people love that movie for basically deciding to just say, fuck it, let's just have fun. <laughs> it's because it, Toby Hooper did the first movie. Right. And then he was, I can't remember what the circumstances were. I think he was paid to make the, the sequel. And so he directed the sequel, and he shows up in that movie. He shows up in Part 2 in, like, a cameo. Just to say, fuck you, I'm here. I'm in this movie. I've, I've only seen two Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies, both of which are named Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The 1974 movie, the fucking 1990 remake or whatever. Uh, it was early 2000s. Early 2000s remakes. That's the, the one. <laughs> the late 2000s remakes and the 2020 remake. <laughs> There's four remakes of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm not... It's a thing all over again. <laughs> Yes, I. I mean, at least when they made a second Friday the Thirteenth, there it was so far away from the rest of the series that it was like. But yeah, to, to, long story short, Toby Hooper decided I'm gonna make this movie funny, just because fuck everybody that ex that's expecting a straight horror movie. I want to make the movie I want to make, <laughs> and so he wrote it in a way where it's fucking ridiculous. But it also fucking vibes with the first movie. So the first movie's a straight horror, and then this one, it's like, yeah, no, this this definitely feels like it's in the realm of the first movie. I should definitely get around to seeing the second and movie. You've got to see the second it's, movie. It's definitely been something I've been interested in checking out. I just have never it's had got, the opportunity. It's to got it. fucking Dennis Hopper. I know. And his <laughs> most insane... So I distinctly remember seeing seeing the movie at like a video rental store with its whole uh, breakfast club <laughs> inspired <laughs> post <laughs> front cover. That's how you know it came out after 1985. <laughs> oh, oh, I think it came out the year after Breakfast Club. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, that is definitely a distinct image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Oh God! So, any recommendations this week? Yeah. Um, since you had recently started watching it, I decided I'm gonna recommend a school ghost story. Oh, yeah. Which is actually getting a Blu-ray release in the near future, <laughs> complete with the original version, but also having the dub. So, uh, check that out. That is a. For context, it is a an anime series based on. A series of stories that were at one point popular, mm -hmm. but by the time that this anime had come out, it had v drastically waned in popularity and was considered a failure. So when ADV got their hands on it, uh, the original rights holders were like, do whatever you want. Just don't change any of the characters' names or the general premise of each episode. Oh, yeah, ghost stories, yeah. <laughs> and... <laughs> Just have fun. Do whatever you want. And so we got perhaps one of the uh, craziest parody dubs of all time. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. It's, the kind of, it's the kind of show that's so offensive. It's, you can't help but just marvel at it. Just because that's the point. <laughs> like, it goes hard with offensive jokes. Taking shots at just about everything from Christianity to... Conservatives. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Oh, ghosts only kill. Kill only. Ghosts only kill red, red conservatives. <laughs> and then there, there was a, there was a joke in a later episode where a blue lake turns red, and he, and they're like, "Wow, that lake's redder than red than Republican Texas." <laughs> uh. And I'm just, of course, remembering like the, 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 the iconic moment of a girl having memories of a bunny, and the bunny going, "Touch me, touch me, <laughs> touch me harder, touch me again." And uh, it all it all leads up to the uh, to the punchline where she's like, "It can't work between us, not because you're a bunny, but because you're black." <laughs> and it's like, Jesus, Jesus Christ! <laughs> It's, it's so fucking out there. It's fantastic, <laughs> and that's the point. It's it's so fucking stupid and racist and dumb. But that's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> Quiet. Yeah. Yeah, ghost stories. Definitely uh, recommended. I don't know. I can't even top that. I, that's our recommendation this week. Ghost stories. Go watch it. Yeah, that's from both of us. That's on Crunchyroll. So, yeah. Feel, feel free to enjoy it. Did I mention... Actually, no. Did I do... I, I recommended Yu Yu Hakusho last week. Did I? No, you didn't. Did you, no, I didn't. I can't remember what you recommended, but I know for a fact you have not recommended Yu Yu Hakusho. I have not re recommended Yu Yu Hakusho. I think... Yeah. Yeah, I'll recommend Yu Yu Hakusho. It's, uh, the English dub is, you know, a bit well, weird, but... What is Yu Yu Hakusho? Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho is a... It's a, it's a weird series, man. It's about, a, it's, about a, it's about a delinquent kid who ends up uh, dying in the stupidest way possible, which be, has become parodied for decades now. I'm pretty sure it's happened in other instances beyond that, but the circumstance Cer it's certainly a much different genre when yes. it is used. Yes. Um so also that is not the stupidest way uh Konosuba has the stupidest way of being uh, killed. But that's exactly what <laughs> why it, it parodies it parodies Yu Yu Hakusho. Anyway. So second stupidest. The second stupidest. Yes. But so, only in hindsight. So in hindsight. So uh, so in Yu Yu Hakusho we have this uh I can't even remember his name now. Let me... Yusuke Hirameshi? Yeah, yeah, Yusuke Hirameshi, who is like this, the big bad delinquent of the town. Or every, every other delinquent fears. He's the king of delinquents. He will get into a fight with anybody. Get into a fight with everybody. Kunio, and... Billy, Jimmy, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a character straight out of River City Ransom. I'll tell you that. Yeah. I don't remember what their names were in that game. <laughs> it was B B Billy and Jim. No, no that's, that's Double Dragon. That's Double Dragon. <laughs> Which is also uh, derived from Kunio yeah, too, yeah. so. <laughs> so, not far off. <laughs> it's in the same universe as River yes. City Ransom, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, basically he dies and becomes a spirit. And co How does he die? He dies by getting hit by a car. Why does he get hit by a car? He's trying to save a boy from uh, from uh, grabbing from getting hit. He's a hero. Yeah. Well, turns out the car wasn't even gonna hit the boy. Tur turns out the car was not going to hit the boy. <laughs> so Yusuke died for literally nothing. <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. And because he died for literally no reason whatsoever, but his own good nature. He's given a, a a chance at a second life. Yep, and he's a got a chance. He's got to earn that chance, though. Got to earn that chance, uh, and uh, he's given that chance by uh, by uh, Koenma. Well, long long story short, he is able to come back to life, but now he has to work for for the devil's son. Basically, to fight demons. <laughs> basically, yeah. In basically Dragon Ball Z fashion. <laughs> yeah. So there's. And he's got a, he's got a bunch of friends with him. The most famous, the most infamous out of all of them, gotta be Kuwabara. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Kuwabara. <laughs> That's how he talks. In the I know, I know. It's fucking hilarious. It's Christopher Sabat, <laughs> who uh, uh, I don't know who is uh, uh so uh. <sighs> He's voiced Vegeta, Piccolo, yeah, other characters from Funimation anime. But this is how he talks. Hey, Yusuke, this time I'm finally gonna win. Nope, <laughs> nope. He, he's <laughs> o for life against Yusuke. But like, they're they're not enemies. They're rivals, but they're actual. They're they're actual friends. <laughs> like. They, they, they do care. Kua, Kua Bara, they just put on a... Yeah, like, Kuwabara doesn't want to admit it, but they are friends. And at that point, they're, they they pretty much accept that they're friends later on in the series. And there's some other characters. There's I know it gets kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there's Ku, yeah, there's Kurama, who is uh, sort of a... A demon fox. A demon fox, who's actually pretty decent. Chill. Mate, pretty chill. He's not a bad guy. He's... I I do, I do remember watching a, a bit of this show when it was airing on yeah 
uh, what you what wasn't Toonami. Mm-hmm. It was like the Adult Swim Saturday block that eventually became Toonami, but that was after uh, Toonami had been canceled or around yeah. the time that Toonami was being canceled. Yeah, Co- Cosmo. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was basically modern Toonami before it was called Toonami. Yep. Yeah, so Kurama's pretty cool. And then there's Hiei, who was all... So both Kurama and Hiei start off as villains. But Kurama's uh What's the word? He's more of a... Less a villain, more an anti-villain, I guess. Because he wants to sacrifice his life to save his human mother, so to speak. His human adoptive mother. Okay. And, uh... Because, uh, because, uh, Yusuke gives up his own life so that, uh, Kurama could live, he's revived immediately afterwards. No, he's not even revived, he's, it's a case of the, the, the magic mirror doesn't take his soul. Or something like that. Something like that. It gets crazy. Because it's, because it's a case of, because you did, you did something so selfless for, uh, for two people that you barely even know, I'm not going to take your soul. <laughs> and then Hiei is just a, Hiei is just the guy who's like, yeah, I'm a fucking dickbag, what you going to do about I'm the it? Sasuke of this series. I'm the Sasuke of the series. But then, he gets beaten by Yusuke, and as the series goes on, he turns more heroic, I guess. It's kind of weird, but those are the main four. Those are the, the main four guys. Yeah, that is, that is a show I should definitely get around to checking out. And uh, there's... It, uh, I do know that the author uh, did go on to do Hunter Hunter. Yeah. Which is currently uh, in a bit of a, a crazy... Uh, <laughs> Crazy release schedule, <laughs> and then there, and then there's Keiko and Botan, and Botan's basically the Grim Reaper, but also Yusuke's, <laughs> Yusuke's assistant. Yeah, she's she's basically she's a pretty girl, <laughs> pretty girl rides a broom, basically a witch. Yada yada yada. Keiko is a human. It's Yusuke's girlfriend, basically. I don't think they are at first, but they practically are. They 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 they're pretty much. <laughs> It's like if they, it's kind of a case of she's not my girlfriend. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. Too. Yeah, she is. She's literally the only woman, the only girl who would talk to you. Not even your mom does that. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. your mom doesn't give a shit about you until you die. Yep. And unfortunately, that is actually accurate. But yeah, after she, after he comes back to life, she does care a bit more. Oh, good. She, Good. She's she's just uh she's just an alcoholic who's not really a deadbeat mom but just somebody borderline borderline and somebody who's kind of checked out. Yeah, yeah. Until you know, shit happens. Like maybe I should start taking stuff seriously and actually appreciate what I have. Ooh, mm-hmm. kind of situation. And then Kuwabara also has a has a sister. She shows up later in the oh, series. Good. Yep. And then there's uh, Master Genkai, who teaches <laughs> teaches uh, Yusuke all that she knows. That's about it's it. It's got a bunch of characters. It is if, if you like Dragon Ball, you're gonna like this. Mm-hmm. Like it's definitely a Dragon Ball esque, kind of similar to like it's, Naruto, it's, One it's, Piece, it's, Bleach. It is. It is very much a. Uh, it's very much a. a the word a shonen shonen yes it's very much a shonen series and it was on shonen jump for a long time yeah it was i think it was what the fourth most popular on i d- i don't know i because there was well there was dragon ball there's drag there was dragon ball z there was Yu Gi Oh, there was naruto bleach and then it was yu yu hockey show i think were the big five I'm pretty sure One Piece would have been on there. I think And I, One Piece. It's a big six. The big six. I, I think it's a big five because you counted Dragon Ball twice. You just added the no, Z. No, no. Uh, yeah. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. One Piece. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z. Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, Bleach. Bleach. Naruto. One Piece. Yu Yu Hockey Show is number six, I think. The, the Dragon Ball. Yu-Gi-Oh. Bleach. Naruto. One piece. Okay, six. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I know there was there, there were a couple others later I'll, on. I'll see myself out. Yeah, there were there were a couple others later on that I can't 
that aren't really coming to mind. But those were the big six. But you, you, you Hockey Show ended first out of all of them, I think. Uh, probably. No, Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z would have ended first, actually. Because okay. then, then One Piece took over, and Yu-Gi-Oh! also ended around that time. You, you, uh, ooh. Yeah. You, you, you know, never ended. It's still going. I, it's I don't, I the don't. original series. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. Because Shonen Jump, I think, first started in, what, fucking 2005 or something. Um, are you talking, like, the English yeah, version of English, Shonen Jump? English because, version of Shonen okay, Jump. Okay, yeah, that, early 2000s for sure. But, yeah. uh, if we're talking, like, weekly Shonen Jump, as a brand, that actually, that was actually I think two thousand three because the two copies you gave me are from like two thousand five, and they're right in the middle because the the One Piece chapters that are on there is right in the middle of the uh, the fucking oh what's his name Sanji not Sanji before that uh, uh oh Buggy Bu- Bugsy Bugsy the clown Buggy Buggy the clown yep. Call him Bugsy for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> so yeah, look at that. We filled up our time slot. What do you know? <laughs> Yu Yu Hakusho and School Days. Yeah, or Ghost uh, Stories. Not School Days. <laughs> Not School Days. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Don't watch that. School Ghost Stories. <laughs> ghost, ghost Stories is what it's called. Don't 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 watch School Days. That one's completely... that one is definitely uh that is definitely horrific in a completely different way. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> A uh, uh, side note about uh, the author of uh, Yu Yu Hakusho and Hunter Hunter. He is married to the author of Sailor Moon. Yes. Yep, which there. was an interesting fact I could bring up a few weeks ago when you told me that you had started watching Yu Yu You know Yu what? Hakusho. I completely forgot Urusei Yatsura got a remake. Yes, it did. Got a new series, and I'm, and I'm trying to figure out where I can watch it, and it's nowhere, and I'm fucking pissed because I want to watch it. Trust me, if you search hard enough, you'll find a place. I'll we'll probably find it, it, but in, like, on a stream or whatever. Right. But, like, I want to watch it legitimately. Right, I, I completely yeah. understand. I've never, I don't think I've ever recommended Nurse Yatra. I'll do that next time. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, we, don't, we don't have anything. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to be spooky next time. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to be spooky next time. But, uh, yeah! Yeah! I'm, uh, really, really happy it's a thing, because I really like... Urusei Yatsura. I mean, say if you've seen any in, in, Inuyasha or, or Ranma One Half, Ranma One Half. You know what you're getting into with with Urusei Yatsura, but that one's a lot more adult than the other two. A okay. lot, a lot more adult. Okay. Just based on its premise, you know, alien alien girl falls in love with a fucking pervert. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, who doesn't want her, by the way. <laughs> he is very ungrateful. Nevertheless, that's that's a story for another time. Until next time, I'm Protomet. This is Barry. Goodbye. S- say bye, Tank. Oh, fuck, right. right. Bye. Get better, Tank. Goodbye. He probably will by the time this goes up. No. Oh. Never. Goodbye. Yeah.